Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Rails Web Application Framework to manage and host XML-driven Flash components on the Google App Engine. What do I mean by an XML-driven Flash component? Well, these are usually components that are built in ActionScript 2, uh, targeting Flash player version 8, and they're really cool, fancy little animations that you can get off the web usually um, that are driven by an XML file that tells them how things are done and how to define them. Let me give you a couple examples of them. Um, this is an um, effects library called um, Aurora FX by this company called Flash Loaded. And as you can see, they're just kind of little nice animation components. On the higher end of this spectrum, you have things like uh, the 3D wall, which is um, by the same company. And what this is, is um, it's a really fancy implementation of a photo gallery browser and as you can see um, it's built in with a 3d engine and you can come in and you can browse the pictures differently um, so what's really cool about this flash components is that they provide you with um, very cool interesting visualizations that you can quickly incorporate into your website in fact if you go to um, the website flashden.net, you'll be able to find a lot of kind of nice, neat effects that you can add to your website that give you that wow factor without you really writing that much code for it. Um, so you can get anything from picture galleries to, you know, interesting navigation tabs. So here, for example, select you can get um, things like clocks that tick or even uh, entire websites that um, basically what happens is this website is driven by an XML file you define all your pictures and all your assets and your text in the XML file and then it just loads it from it and gives you this nice little dynamic flash website so what are we going to do today there's this really interesting library called Cool Iris. You can uh, download it by going to the Cool Iris website. And um, what this is, is uh, it's a 3D wall component. So this is what I've done with Cool Iris. Let me just close all the other tabs because it seems to be killing my browser. Um, so what I've done with Cool Iris is I just built a simple book management system, a little library. Um, and it's just a way for me to kind of keep track of all the books that I read, all the books that I want to read, all the things that I find interesting. Um, let me show you a couple features of this. Um, I can come in and let's say that I'm interested in just Flash. I type in Flash, um, it takes away kind of all the other ones, so it just leaves the Flash content available. Uh, if I want to do Grails, help. One of the grails is the same thing. And I can clear this. And I can look at individual books by clicking on them or by browsing here. And if I'm interested in a particular book, I can just go in here and I can click on the um, book information button. So that's all very cool. Um, I didn't do any really that much work because um, all this stuff is provided for me. What I did do with Grails was I got sick and tired of managing the XMLs by hand. So what I did was I just built a very simple content management engine that allows me to come in and specify my book information. So in here, what I've done is uh, there's a feature in Grails called scaffolding. Same thing in Rails if you're familiar with that. And basically what you do is you can come in, you can um, create a new book. And at the end of the day, what I do with this is I just say, make it an XML file. And this XML file, this feed, is what I show. So I'm not sure if you can see this properly. But um, that's actually a really kind of robust special format XML file. Um, this XML file is then passed on to Cool Iris, which then does all the rendering. 
and we have something like this. The point here is that we're building this really easy interface to manage all this stuff without having to manage all the little bits and pieces of the XML by hand. So you're not um, editing tags, making sure that things are closed. You don't worry about that. You just enter things into this nice little screen. And um, after hooking everything up, you get something like this. It sounds complicated, but um, I'll show you how it's really very little work. And the bulk of the, the problem here actually is once we have this flash component in this XML, how do we deploy it on the Google App Engine securely and how Grails can help with uh, managing a lot of the security and access restrictions that are posed in Flash.